Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss about the unit circle. A unit circle is a circle whose center is at the origin and the radius is equal to 1. Thus, the equation of the unit circle is x squared plus y squared equals 1. This is the illustration of a unit circle. Notice that from the illustration, the center of the unit circle is at the origin and the radius is equal to 1 unit. Hence, this point here has coordinates 1, 0. This point here has coordinates 0, 1. While this one is negative 1, 0. And this point is 0, negative 1. Note the following about the unit circle. The radius is 1 unit and the center is at the origin. If x squared plus y squared equals 1, then the point x, y is on the circle. If x squared plus y squared is less than 1, then the point x, y is inside the circle. And if x squared plus y squared is greater than 1, then the point x, x, y is outside the circle. Let us determine the location of each point on the unit circle. For the first given, we have 1 half, comma, square root of 3 over 2. So since we have these coordinates, then x is equal to 1 half and y is equal to square root of 3 over 2. By substitution, we will have 1 half quantity squared plus square root of 3 over 2 quantity squared. 1 half squared will be equal to 1 fourth while square root of 3 over 2 squared will be equal to 3 over 4. Adding 1 fourth and 3 fourths, we're gonna have 4 over 4 or equal to 1. Since x squared plus y squared is equal to 1, then the point 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2 is on the circle. Let us go to the second given. Negative 1 third comma square root of 2 over 2. Again, by substitution, we will have negative 1 third quantity squared plus square root of 2 over 2 quantity squared. Simplifying each term, we will have 1 over 9 plus 2 fourths. Adding 1 over 9 plus 2 fourths and expressing the answer in lowest term, it will give us 11 over 18. Notice that the value 11 over 18 is less than 1. Since its value is less than 1, then the point negative 1 third comma square root of 2 over 2 is inside the circle. Finally, for our last given, we have the point 1, 3. Substitute 1 and 3 to our equation. We will have 1 squared plus 3 squared, which will give us 1 plus 9. Adding 1 and 9 is equal to 10. Notice that the value 10 is greater than 1. Since the value of x squared plus y squared is greater than 1, then it follows that the point 1, 3 is outside the circle. Let us now recall the right triangle that we have learned from our Mathematics 9. Remember, if you were given a right triangle wherein this is the right angle here, and a given angle, let's say a theta, we can actually name the sides of this right triangle with respect to this given theta. The side opposite the theta is what we call the opposite side, and the side adjacent to it is what we call the adjacent side. Moreover, the longest side of a right triangle is what we call the hypotenuse. From the opposite side, adjacent side, and hypotenuse, then we can recall that the trigonometric functions are given as follows. The sine theta is equal to opposite over the hypotenuse. The cosine theta is equal to adjacent over the hypotenuse. Tangent theta equals opposite over adjacent. Cosecant theta 
equals hypotenuse over opposite. Second theta is equal to hypotenuse over adjacent. And finally, the cotangent theta is equal to adjacent over opposite. Recall that these first three trigonometric functions have the mnemonics SOCA TOA. Moreover, sine and cosecant are reciprocals of each other. O sine and secant are also reciprocals of each other. And same thing with tangent and the cotangent. Putting this right triangle here into a unit circle, then our opposite adjacent and hypotenuse will become y, x, and r respectively. But remember from the definition of the unit circle, its radius is always equal to 1. So notice that this segment here, which serves as the hypotenuse of the right triangle, is equal to 1 unit. Taking your opposite side to be y, your adjacent side to be x, and your hypotenuse to be 1, then the trigonometric functions having this triangle here on a unit circle will now become circular functions with the following representations. The sine theta will be equal to y over r, but since r is equal to 1, then this will become y over 1, which will simply be equal to y. Cosine theta will be equal to x over r, wherein r is also equal to 1, then cosine theta will be simply equal to x. Tangent theta will be equal to y over x. Cosecant theta will be equal to 1 over y. Secant theta will be equal to 1 over x and cotangent theta will be equal to x over y. Meaning, when we are dealing with circular functions, instead of using opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse, we will be using x and y. Let x, y be the point of intersection of the terminal side of angle theta with the unit circle of an angle theta. Then we have the following definitions. Sine theta will be equal to y, cosine theta will be equal to x, tangent theta will be equal to y over x wherein x should not be equal to 0, cosecant theta equals 1 over y where y is not equal to 0, secant theta is equal to 1 over x wherein x is not equal to 0, and cotangent theta is equal to x over y where y cannot be equal to 0. Let us consider first the angle 0 degree and 360 degrees. Notice that the angle 0 degree or 360 degrees has coordinates 1, 0, wherein x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 0. For that case, solving for the value of its circular functions, we will have Sine 0 degree is equal to 0, cosine 0 degree is equal to 1, tangent 0 degree will be equal to 0 over 1 or 0, cosecant 0 degree is equal to 1 over 0 or undefined, secant 0 degree is equal to 1 over 1 which is equal to 1, and cotangent 0 degree is equal to 1 over 0 and undefined. Since 0 degree and 360 degrees have the same coordinates, then it follows that the circular functions of the 360 degrees will have the same value. Let us now go to the circular functions of 90 degrees. The 90 degrees has coordinates 0, 1 wherein x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1. Hence, the circular functions for the 90 degrees will be the following. Sine 90 degrees is equal to 1. Cosine 90 degrees is equal to 0. Tangent 90 degrees is equal to 1 over 0 or undefined. Cosecant 90 degrees is equal to 1 over 1 which is equal to 1. Secant 90 degrees is equal to 1 over 0 or undefined. 
And finally, cotangent 90 degrees is equal to 0 over 1 or 0. Moving on to 180 degrees with coordinates negative 1 comma 0 wherein x is equal to negative 1 and y is equal to 0, then the circular functions of this angle here will be equal to sine 180 degrees is equal to 0, cosine 180 degrees is equal to negative 1, tangent 180 degrees is equal to 0 over negative 1 which is 0, cosecant 180 degrees will be equal to 1 over 0 or undefined, secant 180 degrees is equal to 1 over negative 1 or equal to negative 1, and cotangent 180 degrees is equal to negative 1 over 0 or undefined. Finally, for the 270 degrees with coordinates 0, negative 1, where x is equal to 0 and y equals negative 1, the values of the circular functions are sine 270 degrees equals negative 1, cosine 270 degrees equals 0, tangent 270 degrees equals negative 1 over 0 or undefined, Cosecant 270 degrees equals 1 over negative 1 equals negative 1. Secant 270 degrees equals 1 over 0 or undefined. And cotangent 270 degrees equals 0 over negative 1 or 0. Let us now try to use the values of the circular functions of these angles in solving some problems. Evaluate each. For the first one, we have cosine 180 degrees minus sine 270 degrees. From what we have learned earlier, we have cosine 180 degrees is equal to negative 1 and sine 270 degrees is equal to negative 1 as well. Hence, by substitution, we will have Cosine 180 degrees minus sine 270 degrees is equal to negative 1 minus negative 1. And simplifying this expression, we're gonna have negative 1 plus 1, which will be equal to 0. Therefore, the expression cosine 180 degrees minus sine 270 degrees is equal to 0. Moving on to our next given we have sine 90 degrees plus cosine 0 degree divided by secant 180 degrees. From the table earlier, we have sine 90 degrees equals 1, cosine 0 degree equals 1, and secant 180 degrees equals negative 1. By substitution, we will have 1 plus 1 all over negative 1. Simplifying the numerator, we will have 2 over negative 1, which is equal to negative 2. Hence, the given expression has a value of negative 2. Finally, on our last example, we have tangent pi over 2 plus cotangent 2 pi. Since we have here angles in radian measure, it would be easier for us to convert them into degrees. So, pi over 2 is actually equal to 90 degrees and 2 pi is equal to 360 degrees. Therefore, tangent 90 degrees is equal to undefined and cotangent 360 degrees or 2 pi is equal to undefined as well. So therefore, by substitution, we're gonna have undefined plus undefined, which will result to undefined. I hope that you have understood the lesson. For the next video, we will discuss about the circular functions of the special right triangles. Thank you so much for listening and see you on our next discussion.